v'yachol, as if, meaning uh, the words are, shehashchina shruya im Yisrael, that the divine presence is resting there with Yisrael, bitzarat galutam, when we are in the anguish of our exile. Ukeshenig alim, and when we will be redeemed, hichtiv ke'ula la'atzmo. He has written, he has ascribed redemption, so to speak, to himself. Shuhu yashuv imahem. That he will return with us. So when we concluded <laughs> over there, Bechol Mas Ehem, the Mishkan <coughs> is not going to be with us in all of our travels. The Mishkan was hidden away. The Mishkan eventually was um, transformed, so to speak, into the Beit HaMikdash, into the Temple in Yerushalayim in Jerusalem. And the original Mishkan was hidden away. The Aron, the Ark, and the other vessels were part of the Beit HaMikdash, at least the first temple. The second temple, the Ark was hidden away, but the actual Mishkan, all of the Krashim, the uprights, and all that, that was all hidden away. But that aspect of Mishkan, which is the Shekhinah, which is the Divine Presence, that is with us, Bechol Mas Ehem. Vishav, Hashem himself will return, meaning he is there, he is there with us. And Rashi goes on to say that it's like Hashem himself will take us by the hand and, and lead us back. <coughs> but this is the mission that we have, that we have as a nation and as individuals that we need to bridge heaven and earth. That the way that we act is a way that shows this awareness of God. I mentioned last night in the class we had last night, in that conversion class. You know, we were talking about kashrut. And, and kashrut is so fundamental that is the very first sin was eating that which we were not supposed to eat which represented this idea that it's not God's world no limits I can do what I want it's a free for all and we reenact that Gan Eden challenge every time we walk into a grocery store. Right? Mikol, from all, the, from all the trees of the garden you can eat. Right? There's so much there that's kosher. And there are certain things that are not kosher. So are we acknowledging this is God's world with certain limitations or am I the boss? And, and every moment that we live with this recognition that I'm in God's world, I'm before God, I'm representing God, I have a responsibility, a privilege and responsibility, then we are working on this conclusion of Shemot, of bringing Hashem's presence into this world, the Kavod Hashem, the honor of Hashem, Malay et HaMishkan, filled the Mishkan. And it started with Avram, and it worked its way down through the generations to Moshe, and then to Yeshua, and generations and generations and generations. And guess what, guys? Now it's us. It's our turn. Now it's us. All that we're reading about over here, it's the passing of the mantle, it's the, it's the it's the responsibility, it's the goal, it's the mission. It's our time.
Chazak, chazak, as we finish a parish, uh, as we finish a book. Chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. Right, with all that's going on, ugly incident this week, with all that's going on, chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. Let us... I'm talking about what happened uh, with some, the teens here. Yeah, yeah. Chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. Strong, strong. And let us get stronger and stronger. And we have to realize it's our time. Yeah. So I might have a problem <coughs> with that reading of that book, so far shot. Okay, fine. And so other people are going to 